I need a moment alone. Thing. That's it. This elevator will take us deep below the palace. Get comfortable. This is going to take a while. You don't like long rides? Let me help you with that. I'm going down. Hold on to something. Darius, are you alright? Uh, I'll live. We should probably hurry. This elevator is barely holding on the ledge. That residue again. I need my sword. These screws are pretty loose, but... I need something thinner than my fingers. Stuck. Maybe I could lift the door off the hinges? Here we go. Come on! This elevator is going to fall any second now. Well, I guess we made it to the bottom floor. Somehow, I'm glad there's no sign of Sovet. Let's take a look around. Puffball fungus. Its spores are desired by many alchemists. The wall is smooth, and that rod is too high to jump to. It's no use. That rod is too high. Looks good. Let's give it a shot. Be careful! I'm not so sure this was a good idea. Oh crap! Oh, that was close. Almost there. I'll try to find something to get you across, Terra. If we could pull it from underneath this column, we can't push it. But I could try to attach something heavy to pull it down into the abyss. Those buttons have to be pushed together. I can't do it myself. I think that's a passage, but there's no door handle. I can't push it, but I could try to attach something heavy to pull it down into the abyss. That's a unique puffball fungus. Its spores are desired by many alchemists. Not now. We'll talk once we're less exposed. Can't push it, but 
I could try to attach something heavy to pull it down into the abyss. That's a unique puffball fungus. Its spores are desired by many alchemists. Try to undo the rope holding the chandelier. Whew, it worked. I'll push the left button and take the other one. Come on, there's no time to waste. This must be Zaved's hideout. How are you holding up? Uh, I've been better. We were never too close, you know. My father loved my mother more than anything in the world. I was a result of that love. The labor was complicated, but she brought me into this world. Sadly, at the cost of her own life. Father always resented me for that. As the years have passed, we only moved further apart. But all things considered, I wish I'd had a chance for a proper goodbye. He seemed happy to see you before, you know. I think so too. Thank you, Tara. My king. Don't. To you, I'll always just be Darius. Why did you keep your identity a secret? Why not tell me you were the prince? The blood flowing through my veins always reminded me that sooner or later, I would take the mantle of the High King. But I spent most of my childhood on the streets. I had some friends among the common folk. It gave me a lot of perspective. I'd rather have people judge me by who I am and what I do. Not by who my father is. Was. I think you're going to be a great king, Darius. Let's make sure that there is still a kingdom to rule over. Looks like it's working. No, it isn't. Spontaneous embers. That's a rare find. They could change a liquid to a... Let's try to pick it up. I can barely roll it over. Tara. I think I know the right recipe. Spontaneous embers. That's a rare find. They could change a liquid to a solid in seconds if prepared properly. That's an ether silver. It needs to be dissolved first.
You again? No matter. I'm almost done. And I won't let you interfere. Stop. Blast the door. We have to open it before he finishes the incantations. <laughs> 